So I don't want to be like Dan and start all my videos from in the pool, but this pool is freaking awesome. And I drank like 200 beers last night, so not feeling the best. And a swim is definitely the best thing for that. So these apartments are super nice. Uh, I think I'm paying like $30 a night or something like that. It's really good. Um, but I get the worst value for money in places like this because like I checked in yesterday and then I didn't even stay here. Um, I stayed with friends last night. It's the same. I was in Bangkok for like four nights, I think. And I only stayed in the bed like one night out of the four. It's a... Anyway, I have a lot of fun. <laughs> but I basically paid just for somewhere to put my bag for the night. Going down. So my plan now is I'm just going for a walk along here. Um, I, I haven't been to Hua Hin before, so I'm really keen to see see the place, see what it's like. Um, I'm going to like what used to be the nightlife spot or what hopefully still is the nightlife spot. See what's happening there, grab something to eat, I think. So it's almost 6 p.m. now. Um, last night I went to bed late and then I woke up late and then I had breakfast at like 1 p.m. and I'm like, I'm all out of whack and I'm freaking starving. So uh, I'm gonna walk up to where I think there, there is a night market or there was a night market uh, and get something to eat from there. Right, I think I have found my dinner spot. McDonald's! No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna eat McDonald's. That is the tiniest car I've ever seen. It makes a smart car look big. It seems that Wahin has the same sort of etiquette thing going on here where it's okay to wear your mask under here and then as soon as you see someone or as soon as you get up close to someone you just pull it up over your mouth so that was when I was in Chiang Mai pretty much everyone did that I noticed that quite a bit in Pattaya as well but Bangkok everyone still wears them pretty much all the time One thing I really noticed is like all the different cities in Thailand all look quite different visually. Um, you know, Pattaya looks different to Chiang Mai, which is different to here. Um, some things though, some things never change in Thailand. How the hell do you walk down the sidewalk? absolutely love places like this. this is like a big boys toy shop so it's like a car shop through here and then like one of those little stores that come off it that's like a place you can hang out and stuff like that really cool they've got them like in Japan everywhere I love cars and I'm like into you know anything with anything with an engine basically so really cool I've got a total newfound appreciation for this type of nightlife so this is just like a really cool little night market Sort of thing. It's not very big, but nightlife is different now. So you don't go to bars and clubs and stuff like you used to, but I, I really enjoy coming and hanging out in places like this. I don't know if you can see that up there. You can probably hear it. There is like a million birds along here. I'm scared to walk under though. I'm gonna get shit on for sure. Wow. Okay, 
I found Hua Hin Night Market. This is looking promising. I can smell food, I'm excited. <laughs> I love coming to these places and having your dinner cooked for you like right in front of you, it's awesome. Yeah. Right, so I've got myself a pad thai and a passion fruit smoothie, both of which I'm very excited about. Hmm. Wow, that's a little different. That's the cool thing. Like everywhere you go, they're all a little bit different. It's really good. So my latest video is about to premiere. If you don't know what that is, every day at 6.45 Thailand time, my video comes out live. And during the duration of when it comes out, there's a, there's a live chat room and I go on there and I chat to people. And there's, there seems to be like a regular community of people that come like just about every day. And we ha have a chat for the eight to ten minutes or whatever it is during the video so if you haven't tried it give it a shot well, that dinner was awesome and like two dollars a dollar a dollar for that pad thai unbelievable so I'm just gonna go for a wander around here now Well, I wasn't really that hungry, but I saw chocolate, deep fried chocolate ice cream. I had to try it. Mm. Oh yeah. So it's actually much busier everywhere than I expected. Uh, there's people everywhere. There's a lot happening here tonight. It's a Sunday night, um, you know, and there's lots and lots of people out for dinner and I'm almost getting hit by cars because I'm walking in the road. <laughs> So I came to the touristy end of town, um, like down, down near the water and stuff, and it's dead, like I expected. I didn't think there'd be much happening down there. Um, you know, a few, few places open, but there's hardly anyone in there. So um, I prefer to hang out, like the, the local areas anyway. I, I find you have a better experience there. The food's better, it's usually cheaper. Um, and, and you get more of a, like a real local experience. So I've kind of been to Hua Hin once before. I came for lunch here. So we were driving through and stopped in here and had some lunch. This is the chocolate factory uh, and it's amazing. So if you haven't been there, I strongly recommend it. I thought it was just chocolate or just like a dessert place or whatever. But there's a really good restaurant in there and they have great Western food as well. You know, I got like a really good pasta and pizza and stuff. So yeah, check it out. There's one, there's one in Pattaya as well. They're everywhere around here. Really good. So I just stopped in at 7-Eleven to get some beers. Um, people often ask me if I drink Chang and you know what, for some reason I never drink Chang. So I got one for, for research purposes, let's just say that. <laughs> well, let's see.
Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Mm. It's okay. I mean, it's beer. I'll drink. I'll drink beer. I prefer Leo or Sing. I don't know why. That's yeah, not quite my taste. But I wouldn't turn one down. <laughs> Alright, well that was a fun night. Uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I'm, I'm here for a few days to check the place out. Um, I've got some cool things planned coming up in the next few days too, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but tonight I just wanted to sort of go out and check the place out. Last night I was partying in a house so I didn't really get to see anything. So quite enjoyed it. Um, love the little markets and I'll spend more time at them over the next few days for sure. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Wow, that lunch was awesome. That was Isan style food. It was spicy, it had some kick to it. I loved it. I haven't cooked. I've been living here like five months now. I have not cooked a single meal. The food is just so good here. <laughs>